So you like music and you like circles. Why not make circular music? Hey guys, one by Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at a circular round music visualizer, which is pretty sweet. We've done a lot of music visualizers on the channel. Um, we're like audio visualizers anyway. I mean, we haven't always just used music, but still. Uh, we're gonna get started real quick. I'm gonna hit delete to default, delete the default cube. I'm sorry. Um, we're gonna go ahead and select our camera, hit Alt G and Alt R and RX 90, and then hit G Y to move our camera backwards. Now we're gonna select our lamp and hit uh, Alt G. I know it's the first time, right? And then Alt R to clear the rotation as well. So, first time we really used the lamp uh, in a long time, anyway. So, I'm gonna hit zero on my numpad to go into the camera's view. Hit Shift A to add in a UV sphere. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the, the modifiers tab here. Add a modifier of subdivision surface. And then bump that up to four for both of these. I'm sorry, three, not four. To three for both of these. So three for the render, three for the viewport, and three for the quality. Um, all right, so uh, now with that selected, I'm going to go ahead and go to the material tab and hit this little box and select the default material. I'll go to the world tab and change the color to solid black. Now, with our render viewport shading on, which is the fourth button up here, we'll go ahead and make sure that solid black looks good. I like it. Now, with our light selected, we can go back to solid viewport shading. Uh, middle mouse button to pan around my scene like this, by the way. And with our lamp selected, we'll go ahead and hit G, Y, and move this right behind our, our, our sphere. Hit zero to go back into the camera's view. Now, if you go back to render viewport shading, you can see we have this nice little rim, which is pretty sweet, right? So if I go ahead and I turn my overlays off by this little button, uh, you can see that it looks much better. All right, so uh, in the lamp tab down here, with the lamp still selected, we can turn the power up to something crazy like 10,000, which is pretty sweet. Looks good. I like it. I like it. Now, the specular is what's really helping us out. So if I turn the specular all the way down, then you see it doesn't show anything. So if I select our material, if I select our, our sphere, sorry, go back to the material tab, turn roughness well, not all the way down, but if I turn it, maybe about to whatever, wherever the the highlight is the biggest. So maybe around. Actually, you know what? Three point uh, three two five looks pretty good. And then we'll turn the uh, the specular all the way up, just cause. And I think we can also maybe do a little bit of metallic in there. Yeah. So that metallic is, is really helping us out a little bit too. It's making it bigger, which is nicer. Um, all right, cool. So you can also do sheen as well, and clear coat might help you out a little bit too. Uh, there we go. So clear coat. And eh, it's getting a little dot in the center, though. I don't really like that. So we'll we'll uh, we'll, un we'll undo that. So we're gonna undo the clear coat and the clear coat roughness, and we'll also undo the sheen because we don't really need that. We only really need the specular and the metallic. Obviously, it's helping us out a lot too. So we only really need those two. Make sure your roughness is set properly as well. So now our sphere, even though it's smooth, still has some bumpiness to it. You just can't tell. So we'll go ahead and go to smooth shade smooth. Make sure it's all smooth. So object. Shade smooth with our sphere selected. Sorry, object shade smooth. Perfect. Now, so we're all set to go. I want to go ahead and drag open our timeline here. Go to the zero frame because you know. Um, and make sure with our lamp selected, we can now change the color to whatever we want to. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the lamp tab, change the color to whatever color I want to change it to, which I'm going to do red for this tutorial because we haven't had a lot of red um, on the thumbnail in a while. <laughs> And it might not even be red when I do the thumbnail. I always say that, then I probably wind up changing the color anyway. So whatever, it's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and do red just because, why not? Um, and I'll go ahead and hover my cursor over top of the color and hit I. Hit I on our keyboard uh, and hover our cursor over top of that. So it looks pretty sweet. I like it. Now we can change around with the radius to get a little bit of more softness in there. So I'll do something like that. You see the difference is either that or that. Looks much better. So I like it. Looks looks nice and softer now, which is cool. I love it. So that's pretty good. Now for the actual animation part, we can go ahead and drag from this little plus icon. Put your cur cursor down there. I'll turn it to a plus. Drag up from that and change this little this little box this little boxy box uh, to the uh, to the graph editor. Now with the graph editor, I'm gonna go ahead and select our sphere. Now or select I'm sorry select our light, not our sphere. Make sure our light is selected. Now you see when we select that, we have these lines in here, and we also have this light tab over here. Now if we open this up, this is the little keyframe that we just inserted. That's the little keyframe right here. So we have the ability to change the R, G, and B colors um, because uh, we've animated that. We hit, we added a keyframe on it, now we can animate it, which is nice. So we can in individually do each one. So on the red, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm gonna, oh, red, I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> I'm funny. Uh, we're going to go ahead on the red color. We're going to hit... Um, 
Now we're going to go up to key and then hit bake sound from F curves. Now when we hit this, we're going to go ahead and search for our file, the audio file that we want to use. And then now we can go ahead and implement that into the scene. All right, so I have found the audio that I want to use right here. It's called Samurai Kai Intro. We'll use that just because I don't, I don't have anything else on me right now at the time. Um, and it has some up and downs and lows and highs, so it's pretty good for this. Uh, so all of these settings, you don't really need to mess with any of this stuff. It's fine the way that it is. Just go ahead and hit Bake Sound to F Curves. Now you can see the color's not red anymore. What's up with this, huh? Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. But we can't actually hear anything right now if we were to play this. So we're going to go ahead and real quick change this from the graph editor to the uh, video sequence editor and then we're gonna go ahead and hit add and then sound and we're gonna choose our clip once again and now you can see go ahead and just open that right on up now when we play this we should be able to hear it there we go now if you were looking up here you could see that whenever the music hits harder it's gonna start turning red the softer stuff is gonna be this bluish nice darker color and when, every time there's a piece of music that plays, it's going to get more and more red, which is nice. Which is pretty sweet. So that's our music visualizer. You can do a lot of other things to this too, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, you could animate the power, which I don't really recommend because the power doesn't... When you animate it, it doesn't go up high enough for you to realize... To you to, for you to be able to see the color changing. Because it, it only goes up from zero to like... Maybe 600. If I have this on 600, that's really soft and it's not enough. So uh, it needs to be much higher than that. So I don't recommend animating the power. But what you could do is you could animate this specular. And animating the specular also looks pretty cool too. So we can go ahead and do that real quick. I'll change this back to the graph editor for a second. Hover our cursor over top of specular and hit I. Now we have the specular factor down here, which we can go into the same thing. Go to key and then bake sound the F curves. Then of course we select our uh, audio once again. And now when we play this, you can see that the specular goes away, which makes it like the color leaves and comes back every single time. What you can see is uh, much less visible because some of the lower frequencies and the, the, the not as loud parts, they kind of disappear, which if you want that, then that's cool. You see what I'm talking about? But uh, for the most part, I, I want to get rid of that, that specular. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that because that's just something you can do if you want to. But I don't really like the way it looks too much for this specific song. So I'll just leave it the way that it is with the color just changing. There we go. And you can even make this even brighter if you want by turning up the power, of course, some more. So we can turn this up from 10,000 to even something really insane like 50,000. Well, not, not 50,000, but let's do... I think we can do 20,000. Yeah, we can do 20,000. Maybe we might even be able to do 30,000. Yeah, we can do 30,000. Can we do 40,000? Can I go for 40,000, 40,000, 40,000? Yeah, we can do 40,000. So maybe 40,999999. Yeah, we can do that. Wow, so we can't go up one more. Oh, we can. We can. What were you telling me, Blender? What are you, what are you telling me, Blender? What are you lying to me? You say you can't go past 50,000? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Blender? What are you talking about? Uh, and the last thing I want to do is go to the scene tab and turn bloom on and now uh, we can go ahead and turn the threshold down well, the threshold down a little bit not too much the radius up and the intensity up as well now you see we get a little bit of that in there not not that not really much bloom but there's if you can see very slight around the edges there it's just not really bright enough for the bloom to come through uh, all that much but that's totally fine and it's uh it's a lot of fun to make it's a lot of fun to make it looks really cool i like it a lot uh but yeah hope you boys and girls enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one but until then bye bye